she likes Thor. So I was like, okay, literally just lean and think about Thor. She's never had Chick-fil-A. She switched four lanes with no signal and like hit the left lane full wide open and I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna die. It's about that time again. I'm here with uh, Bill Collette here. And, no, Will Collette. Yes. Who, what's your name? Bill Co? Bill Co. Like, what's your professional name? Do you go Bill Will. Co or Will? What Will. do you do? Uh, while we're doing this, we're gonna talk about a little bit about what makes a pro model photographer. Gotta do the black t-shirt, right? No logos. No logos. Logos is the establishment. That's right. Brand names are not where it's at, unless it's for yeah. I got kicked yeah. off stage at EDC because my shirt was white instead of black. Yeah. They literally told me, I was up there to shoot marshmallow, and they're like, not today. Didn't let me on the stage. All right, next thing, jeans. Very important. See the holes? And look, and you have them too. Show, show. Yeah, you. I'm in the club. There you go. Perfect but you amount. get you get a new hole every time you do a big shoot. So today we'll earn one more hole. But once you get too many holes on your jeans, then you have to replace them, and you have to go to ASOS and get another pair. The Vans. Gotta have the Vans. The That's LA right. to LA photographer. Look, Vans, ripped jeans, black T-shirt, and I should have them, but rings and a Sony camera. Sony camera. And then you're basically set. You can shoot the chain smokers. We are shooting Francesca today. Hi. And tell us a little about yourself. Um, I'm better to speak in French, so I will speak in French. <laughs> Salut, mon nom est Francesca, donc euh, je suis à LA pour euh, quelques shootings avec euh, Will, donc euh, voilà. Uh, good luck, subtitle guy. This is BTS with Francesca. I'm gonna make sure I link her page in the bio too. So this is to kind of show you guys what goes on behind these shoots, like how to style a model, how to kind of have an eye for what angles are good, things like that. Settings on your camera. So today I'm shooting with the new A7 III. This is my first portrait shoot with this camera. I'm rocking a 28 to 75 millimeter Tamron. You want it on the higher end of the spectrum uh, when you're picking out lenses for model portraits because anything over 50 millimeters is gonna make the model look thinner and anything wide angle is gonna make her look bigger. So we typically don't do wide angle shoots for this. Wide angles are more for car stuff. We shoot at this full location because it's even lighting. So we can shoot in the middle of the day and we don't have any harsh shadows on her or anything like that. Um, so that's why we're, we're at, uh, at this spot. Thanks to Yana also who's shooting this. I'll make sure that I plug her channel in the bio or in the description as well because her YouTube channel is way bigger than mine. You guys will love it if you love music. This is where we are shooting at today. And they have like a really nice pool, even lighting like Will said. The big thing that I learned um, from other shooters is that you always want to let your talent look at the photos every time you like switch up a pose or a location or something um, because when they know how they look on the other end of the camera, they can adjust accordingly to try to look better. Um, also directing her where to look with her eyes and things like that. We want to keep leading room into account. So like if I'm shooting and she's on, you know, the far side of the camera frame, you want her to be looking this way and vice versa. Always try to be unique with portraits. So when I shoot, like anybody can shoot just a straight on portrait. So trying to incorporate things in the foreground really makes a shot more interesting. Same thing with car shoots. When you're shooting a car, anything you can put in the foreground that's like blurry or an interesting background helps a lot. So what we were just shooting here is we had her kind of leaning into the flowers and then everything in the foreground was like blurry flowers. Um, so it's not just a straight on portrait shot of her. So what I was talking about is getting stuff in the foreground. You can see how we have stuff going on around, but the again, the objective is to have you focus the attention to the subject. So everything else is blurry except for her. When I'm shooting, I usually try to have it dialed as high as possible. So if I can shoot all the way at 75 millimeters, that's more ideal because again, that's just squeezing her in even more. You have less lens warp than if you were to shoot like 28 is going to start looking wide, so I try to avoid 28. I'm trying to get a specific mood for this type of a shot, and I told her to like daydream basically. Because if you give talent too much direction, like oh, tilt your head like this, and then you know, go like that, and just like too many things for them to think about, it overwhelms and then it just looks awkward. Instead of like physical direction, it's easier if you give them a mood or a feeling. She likes Thor, so I was like, okay, literally just lean and think about Thor, and then the, <laughs> the face that you're going for happens naturally. like a beach shoot and we wanted it to look like really dreamy, I would say like, you know, cross your legs as you're walking and look up into the sky like you're daydreaming or something like that, I don't know. So giving them feelings is easier than like physical placement of where their eyes and stuff should go. But if you need like slight direction, so like if I'm like, hey, do the daydream look, look that direction, you can give like some uh, so that, you know, their eyes are pointed the right way or something like that. Just try not to overdo the direction. Go ahead.
perfect. Right there. And then make sure the B is facing me. Yep, okay. Don't fall in the water. <laughs> Alright, try one more time. Lost track of the forest through the trees, forgot what I was chasing. Spent so many nights living out at sea that my heart is gone vacant. And everybody who was close to me all stayed on dry land. So now I'm driving back on in the state west. I just gotta feel something. Not gonna wait till the morning because something's gonna change my mind. I don't wanna change my mind Oh, I wanna stay right here, right here Chilling with my friends for another year I would walk away from the spotlight For the good life oh, Come on, turn your hate into poetry Pain into power And I need some friends in your minutes in the hours I would walk away from the spotlight For the good life For the good life <laughs> I look great. <laughs> One thing they do not show you about taking photos in Los Angeles or having photo shoots in Los Angeles is that there's no parking anywhere. Currently waiting for Will and Francesca to find a place to park uh, and we're gonna hit up Runyon Canyon and take the next part of the photo shoot there. Okay, we're at the second shoot now. First shoot was Bang Energy video by the pool. Second shoot is now we got the champagne flavor and it's all orange, so we have to do Golden Hour Sunset and Running Canyon, but we gotta get up there to do more photos. So um, let's just teleport up there now. A long hike up. We need some we need some energy drinks. I wish we had some. Yana was just saying there's nothing more LA than taking a model, a YouTuber, and a photographer on a hike at Runyon Canyon at sunset on the weekends to do a video for an energy drink. <laughs> and vlog the process. Yeah. yeah, people were watching us like get multiple takes. I'd have her walk back like six times. Yeah. And it's like, at this point, like when you see the content online, it's like, oh, it's so cool. But when you see it being shot, everybody just like rolls their eyes. They're like, oh my God, more so of those. Like yeah, more of those people. <laughs> go ahead. All right, go again. Go one more time. That's probably a lie. You're probably gonna do it again. <laughs> what a shot. All right, go ahead. Perfect, amazing, this shot. Okay, go for it. Perfect. I'm gonna start like here, and then I'm gonna say go. Okay, yeah. ready, go. That's the shot, that's the shot. Uh, stand like right. Yeah, I take another sip. Yeah, <laughs> stand right there and we'll get the, the drinking shot. I'll have you drinking like while I pan around. So stand like a little bit farther back, a little bit farther back. Like five feet. Yeah, because I'm, I'm gonna sweep this way. Okay. Does it have to be a close up? The drinking shot? I'll do one wide no, and I'll do one wide and one tight. Alright, go ahead. Alright, go ahead. Perfect. That's such a cool shot. She's never, hang on, you, I brought Chick-fil-A to the shoot today. She's never had Chick-fil-A, and we've never had milkshakes with whipped cream on them before. This shake, yeah. Yeah, so we gotta go get a milkshake at Chick-fil-A. So that's, that's how we're gonna end this thing. You've got to be at least the 20th person that I've brought to Chick-fil-A for the first time ever. I've had Chick-fil-A at least three or four times this week, and I've had IHOP three times this week. Driving? 
Yeah. Alright. Oh, she doesn't kill me. What? Don't kill me. I've seen you drive. First time that she drove this car, we were going from. It was a photo shoot. Where were we? Coming from the Hollywood Hills. And yeah. going back home, and I was like, do you want to drive? And she's like, yep, we were literally about to turn onto the freeway. We got out, Chinese fire drilled around, and before I could say anything, she literally floored it. We went down the on-ramp at like 90. She switched <laughs> four lanes with no signal, and like hit the left lane full wide open, and I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna die in my <laughs> own car in Los Angeles. No. But solid driving, so we're back in the Roush. We gotta get her into a supercar though. I wanna see how you handle a supercar since she's never driven one, that'd be awesome. So I'd say M4 is probably the fastest she's driven so far. So we going there or? Yeah, so you'll uh, turn, you'll go through this light and take your first right. Okay, and it's, it's better than like, in and out or? No, it, oh it's, are you kidding me? Chick-fil-A is like the best fast food restaurant. You, you can go ahead and get in that lane there. Okay. It's the best fast food you can get period. Yeah, tell me in the comments what's your favorite fast food restaurant. I eat Chick-fil-A like three times a week, so I'm gonna put that at the top of the list. I'm gonna put this over Ruth Chris Steakhouse, and I'm gonna put this over Bonefish Grill, and I'm gonna put this over In-N-Out. It's better than everything. All right, that does it for this week's video. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you learned some stuff about how to work with models, how to shoot, how to pose, all that kind of stuff. Remember, we drop a video every Thursday. It's gonna be either model or car related or both like in this episode. Make sure you're liking and subscribing. Catch you guys next week. Peace.